What up, Reject Nation? Welcome to the Real Rejects YouTube channel. My name is Sally. You can call me Salamander if you want to, but uh, only if you subscribe. So those are the rules. It's free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why wouldn't you? Because then we can be on a nickname basis. You know what I mean? You can follow me at Sally Lamonico on Instagram or my own YouTube channel, which is... <sighs> You guessed it, Sally LaMonaco. <laughs> I am doing a Marvel movie marathon on this channel. I'm super excited about it. We are still on phase one. So this video is going to be me watching Thor. So if you are new to the channel or if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, you can go ahead and check them out. I have watched Iron Man. I've watched The Hulk, Iron Man 2. So yeah, you can keep up with me if you click that notification bell so that you know when my next reaction is up. We will be going in order. And if you're enjoying this series, you can watch the full movie with me. You can sit down, grab a bucket of popcorn, watch the whole entire two-ish hours of these movies if you go to The Real Rejects Patreon. That's patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. Greg and John have a bunch of other cool sh** on there if you want to check them out. Full movie reactions and full TV show reactions, actually. So there's a lot of good stuff on there. Definitely check it out if you are curious. Also, if at any point you enjoy this reaction, please give it a like. It really does help the algorithm and, you know, it is free, you know, to do. So, why not? <laughs> Quick shout out to Prepper for editing together the highlights of this video. We really appreciate you here on The Real Rejects. So thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And now it is time to watch Thor. <laughs> if that's not cringy, it's probably cringy. <laughs> I'm with her on that one. Ooh! Where did he come from? <laughs> Imagine hitting a hot guy with your car from space. From a realm of cold and darkness came the frost giants. <laughs> Cold never bothered me anyway. It's like Elsa. Couldn't he just ice all of them? Our armies drove the frost giants back into the heart of their own world. Impressive. The last great war ended, we withdrew from the other worlds and returned home. Asgard. It's like the Upside Down, but instead of Hell, it's Heaven. <laughs> I'm getting Rivendell vibes from Lord of the Rings. The Frost Giants still live. But when I'm king, I'll hunt the monsters down and slay them all. A wise king never seeks out war. Do you swear to cast aside all selfish ambition and to pledge yourself only to the good of the realm? I swear! A man that's not selfish? To proclaim you How do they get through? Ew. They broke into the weapons vault. If the Frost Giants had stolen even one of these relics... They didn't. Well, I want to know why. <laughs> His face. Thinking only as a warrior. This was an act of war. It was the act of but a few, doomed to fail. Look how far they got! We will find the breach in our defenses, and it will be sealed. As king of Asgard... But you're not king! Listen to your father. <laughs> His facial expressions kill me. I think 
you're right. If they found a way to penetrate Asgard's defenses once, who's to say they won't try again? Next time with an army. Mm-hmm. We're going to Jotunheim. Man, if Disney made a whole land that looked like Asgard, that would be sick. I would go. Time to may we pass. Never has an enemy slipped my watch until this day. I wish to know how that happened. Mm-hmm. And you trust him. Why? If your return threatens the safety of Asgard, by trust will remain closed to you. I have no plans to die today. None do. I thought they just like hit the ground hard. <laughs> they landed nicely. How did your people get into Asgard? The house of Odin is full of traitors. Stop and think. Look around you. We're outnumbered. Know your place, brother. Oh, bro. Go now while I still allow it. Run back home, little princess. Damn. E. Please make it a challenge for me. Dude, shut up. Cause they will. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, my God. We must go. Let go. See, now you're just going to piss them all off. He could kill his friends doing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh god. That's a way to do it. You've gotten everything I taught you. If the old ways are done. You'd stand giving speeches while Asgard falls. You are a vain! Greedy! Cruel boy! And you are an old man and a fool! You're gonna regret saying that. You are unworthy of these realms. You're unworthy of your title! You're unworthy! He's like, humble yourself. <laughs> I now take from you your power in the name of my father. Oh, he's straight banishing him. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. He's about to get a slice of humble pie. Or car. What realm is this? Alfheim? Nornheim? New Mexico? You dare threaten me, Thor, with so puny a weapon. <laughs> Hi. Just taking a little blood. How dare you attack the son of Odin! I need some help! <laughs> I need help. Bro. Oh my 
got two. You're no match for the mighty. <laughs> They should have that at Disneyland, right by the sword and the stone. That would be cool. Well, our data can't tell us what it was like to be inside that event, and he can, so we're gonna find him. Okay. So you gotta look all over New Mexico, right? Exactly. comes the government per usual they're gonna take the beer and run you must go to the old father and convince him to change his mind and if i do then what he's arrogant he's reckless he's dangerous you saw how he was today is that what asgard needs from its king i mean he's kind of right what am i you're my son In the aftermath of the battle, I went into the temple, and I found a baby. Left to die. Alfie's son. You took me for a purpose. What was it? Mm. You know, it all makes sense now. Why you favored Thor all these years. Because no matter how much you claim to love me, you could never have a frost giant sitting on the throne of Asgard. Did he just die? This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Ask nicely. I meant no disrespect. All right, well, no more smashing. Deal? I have my wood. The way he looked her up and down like that. Nobody could lift it. They said it was radioactive. I had my hands all over it. Which way? 50 miles west of here. <laughs> we need to appropriate your records and all your atmospheric data. By appropriate, do you mean steal? Oh, I'm on the verge of understanding something extraordinary. Hey! Hey, okay. Jane. Thank you for cooperation. That sucks. Father has fallen into the urgent sleep. You can bring your urgent matter to me. Your king. The Thursday, Thursday. You think me strange? Yeah, I do. Good strange or bad strange? I'm not quite sure yet. She won't hit somebody else. <laughs> but who are you? Really? She's not looking at the road at all. <laughs> Look what's down there. You think you're just gonna walk in, grab our stuff, and walk out? No, I'm gonna fly out. Almost took off his shirt. <laughs> nice. Last chance, sir. Wait. I want to see this. <laughs> he made my man, some of the most highly trained professionals in the world, look like a bunch of minimum wage mall cops. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Loki. Hmm? Tell me, is it Jotunheim? Let me explain to father. Father is dead. The threat of a new war. It was too much for him to bear. Freaking liar. 
The burden of the throne has fallen to me now. <laughs> burden. The truce with the Jotunheim is conditional upon your exile. Yes, but couldn't we find a way? And mother has forbidden your return. This is goodbye, brother. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a little bitch. He was distraught when he found out that you'd taken all of our research. That was years of his life gone. That still doesn't explain how he managed to tear through our security. Steroids! <laughs> He's a bit of a fitness nut. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I'm taking you home now. Nice. Dr. Selvig! Just keep him away from the bars. If they knew he was lying, why'd they let him go? Where are we going? To get a drink. Yes. Follow them. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you're delusional or if you're pulling some kind of con. I don't care. I just care about her. I've seen the way she looks at you. Classic line. Lead you into Odin's chambers and you can slay him where he lies. I... Except. Oh my god. Is he okay? <laughs> He's fine. Not into the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I still don't think you're the god of thunder. But you ought to be. <laughs> Bromance. It was all I could get back. I'm sorry it's not as much as I promised. No, no, this is great. This is. I don't have to start from scratch now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's cute. You must finish what you've started. Why? Because you're right. Yeah, look. Well, I come from a place where they're one and the same thing. She's in love with a god. We must find Thor. It's treason. To help with treason, suicide. Thor would do the same for us. <laughs> you would defy the commands of Loki, our king. Break every oath you have taken as warriors and commit treason to bring Thor back. Yes. Good. <laughs> Not too subtle, is it? You won't be able to convince the scientific community of any of it. Not without hard evidence. Found you! <laughs> you, you know I can't go home. My father is dead because of me. I must remain in exile. Your father still lives. Mm. I say, for your act of treason, you are relieved of your duties as gatekeeper and no longer citizen of Asgard. Then I need no longer obey you. Mm-hmm. No! Is that one of Stark's? <laughs> Yeah, try out running that. Keep it distracted. Oh no. Oh. All you can. No, I will die a warrior's death. Stories will be told of this day. Live and tell those stories yourself. Hmm. That's a good line. You must return to Asgard. 
have to stop Loki. What about you? Do not worry, my friends. I have a plan. Didn't he just destroy the 7-Eleven and it's right there? I am truly sorry. But these people are innocent. Oh! No! I broke his neck. It's over. No, it's not over. At least he didn't get the liquor store. Yes, King. Literally. <laughs> Donald? I don't think you've been completely honest with me. Know this, son of coal. Son of coal? <laughs> you stay forward, you can count me as your ally. If... You return the items you have taken from Jane. Stolen. Mm. I give you my word. I will return for you. Mm. Yes! Your death came at the hand of Luffy. Oh. And your death came by the son of Odin. Aww. I swear to you, mother, that they will pay for what they've done today. Loki. Oh. oh no. Why have you done this? To prove to father that I am a worthy son. I would have destroyed that race of monsters. You can't kill an entire race. What is this newfound love for the Frost Giants? Hmm. Destroy the bridge or let us be again! Forgive me, Jane. Dang, he got there fast. I could have done it! For you! For all of us! No, Loki. Loki, no! No! <laughs> Mic drop. I'm out. It's gone. This is how every woman feels when a guy ghosts her. I feel you. Can you see her? <laughs> yes. How is she? In the car. Come on, Jay. She searches for you. Hmm. That's cute. It's over. Again, I'm an idiot. I did not watch the end credit scene to Thor because I just like I'm a little out of the loop, you know. I'm going to watch the end credits scene to Thor now in a different outfit. Hopefully it blows my mind. Thor will return to the Avengers. Yas. 
Legend tells us one thing, history another. But every now and then we find something that belongs to both. What is it? Power, Doctor. If we can figure out how to tap it, maybe unlimited power. Loki, what are you doing, boy? Well, I guess that's worth a look. Well, I guess that's worth a look. No. Loki pretended to be Bill Nye? Okay, yeah, that was worth me going back. Wow, what a little snake. He's a little snake. But he's still hot. It's confusing. So, okay, that, that seems like a great setup to the Avengers, for sure. And Captain America, because doesn't that little box thingy show up in Captain America? Anyway, it's like the Tesseract, right? Is that what it's called? A little Tessie? I wish I had seen that before watching Captain America, <laughs> but I am about to watch the Avengers, so. All right, I liked it. I enjoyed it. We got a little bit of Loki in there. Loki, Loki, you know. I think what's next is my uh, review of the movie, so enjoy that. <laughs> so that was Thor. I really enjoyed this movie my mom has been obsessed with this movie like i remember when it first came out she watched it all the time and i got sick of seeing it on her tv i was like i don't get it um but i guess i never really paid much attention to it until now and now i understand why she always says i need a horse great line <laughs> i noticed there's a lot of similarities between the Lion King and this movie, actually. And I love the Lion King. That's just such a classic story. Loki obviously reminded me of Scar and Thor reminded me of Simba, even down to like him dangling on the cliff and more specifically when Loki was uh, lying to him about how it was Thor's fault that his dad got killed and I remember Scar blamed Simba for killing his father and that, uh, yeah, there were definitely a lot of similarities, but I still really enjoyed the dynamic of both of them in this movie. It was very unique in terms of the acting and kind of how they both still love each other through this because you can see both sides clearly and where they're both coming from. I feel like, yeah, Loki is set up to be a villain, but you can kind of understand why he feels the way that he feels and why he does the things that he does. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Like he's a great villain in, in that regard. I also just really love fish out of water stories. They're so funny. There's always so much room for comedy in fish out of water movies. So Thor being in New Mexico instead of, you know, being in Asgard in another realm, was really funny just to see him interact with Americans and their ways of life versus where he's from. It's just, it was really funny. There was a, a, a lot of great comedic moments in this movie that I enjoyed. I really, really liked the script because I would say in comparison to some movies I've seen, um, especially superhero movies, a lot of times just to create more conflict, I feel like a lot of characters make dumb you know decisions and i feel like with this one a lot of times every decision each character made specifically the characters that are from new mexico i got it like the, a lot of it made sense and a lot of it i felt was realistic in a sense of what they would actually be doing and what they would actually be trying to achieve and how they go about it the fact that it all kind of took place in one little spot too and not like oh we have to save the whole world like it was just this intimate sort of story in this small town i think also grounded it made it more realistic in a sense obviously the story w of him losing everything losing his power losing the one thing that i feel like defined him it's a classic story for a superhero movie to lose the power or lose the suit or lose something that makes them feel like that's what defines them and so even though it's been done a lot i still enjoyed the way that this movie uh, handled it because I don't think it was as dramatic as some other movies make it and so it was still definitely fun and Thor definitely didn't lose his uh, tenacity and his personality and of course he changes in the beginning he's super pompous and arrogant and then by the end he's very kind but still strong which is great. I also just really loved the cinematography in this movie. There were a lot of really, really great shots. Specifically standing out to me is the scene where Thor tries to take his hammer out of the ground and Coulson standing there watching him with the rain. 
and he obviously didn't do it and then his sadness of not being able to pick up his hammer that doesn't sound as sad when i say it but out of context i don't know that whole scene was shot beautifully and there were so many shots i could tell there's a term for it i went to film school i'm blanking right now but where isn't it like a dirty shot or something no what is it it's like a term for it where basically the angles are off uh Dutch angle. And that kind of always indicates that there's something dangerous going on or something uneasy about the situation. I noticed that a lot. I just noticed the composition and the movie just being beautiful and really enjoying it. I also just love that very human moment where he's like, let's go to a bar. Because I remember thinking that earlier, like after he couldn't get the hammer out, I was like, he needs a drink. <laughs> and uh, and then he did. So that was great. I also really just loved the acting. Like Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston. And oh my God, the whole entire cast did such a good job. Natalie Portman always makes... I feel like sometimes these sort of scripts can sound a little cheesy or a little out there. And I feel like she has a a great way of being able to say her lines in such a realistic way that she can make a cheesy line sound good basically so that's great cat dunnings i believe is hers her name is is kind of the uh the everyman in this movie of what we would all react to as you know a regular person in a situation like that again i just think the whole cast did such a great job so even though there's lots of different types of movies kind of in one i feel like they pulled it off I think. Let me just also, the chemistry between Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman, amazing. I love that her name is Jane too because it kind of reminded me of Tarzan and Jane. He's just this big guy from another world basically and her name is Jane. And I don't know if that was done on purpose. I don't know when these comics came out. I don't know but um, I just noticed that and thought it was kind of funny. So I, again like I loved the ending too. I think it's a great setup for the Avengers and i just feel like there weren't any weak moments in this movie for me that i could think of it was very fast paced every scene felt like it was meant to be in this movie also with endings it's really hard to have a good ending especially one where you're trying to set up for another movie because it's kind of like where do you go from here but i thought overall this movie was really enjoyable i now know why my mom <laughs> watched this movie all the time because it's it's very entertaining so again thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you enjoyed this video and there are plenty of other videos on this channel if you would like to check them out by greg and john they're great and give it a like thumbs up same thing thank you guys for watching this with me and uh i'm gonna go get a horse so I'm, I'm gonna go to bed that's actually what i'm gonna do <laughs> so thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next movie stay tuned bye